I can already hear several thousand fanboys and fangirls crying over what I'm about to reveal to the internet. This is something you normally don't reveal to the internet because these two subjects are very near and dear to the hearts of many boys and girls all around the internet. I'll start off with the blow that'll probably hurt the least among the people that watch my videos. By the time I was 11 years old, I had already found out that Darth Vader happened to be Luke Skywalker's father. This shouldn't come as a shock to anybody because that is one of the most well-known spoilers all over the world. I don't remember exactly when I found this out, but it wasn't a big deal to me. So around the time when The Phantom Menace came out, I made the conscious decision to watch the Star Wars movies from 1 to 6 in that order. Yes, so that does mean that I watched The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith before I watched A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Now I know what you're thinking, how could anyone do this? Oh my god, oh my god, what the heck? How could anyone have not seen any of the Star Wars movies as a child? <gasps> well, to answer your question, I hadn't even seen any of the Indiana Jones movies until around the time Indiana Jones 4 came out, and I still haven't seen Back to the Future yet. So that kind of gives you the idea that I'm not really in tune with any of the older movies that have come out before the time I started working at my movie theater. Now you may be wondering why I had decided this, and I will tell you why. I was probably thinking that I would be one of the only people to ever watch 1, 2, and 3, and then 4, 5, and 6, other than the other way around. And then I can brag to people that I saw 1, 2, and 3 before I saw 4, 5, and 6. And I saw how Darth Vader became to be Darth Vader before I actually understood who Darth Vader was as a character. Yeah, that may have meant that I missed out on one of the biggest revelations in movie history, but I had already known that, so what's the big deal? It shouldn't be a big deal in what order people watch Star Wars. It's only a matter of personal preference, really. And these are all the same people that are gonna say that the prequel trilogy sucked. And you know what? Only Attack of the Clones sucked because I've watched them all within the last couple months when they all came out on Blu-ray. Jar Jar Banks is an abomination of a character, but I still did enjoy The Phantom Menace for what it's worth. Enough about Star Wars, I'm gonna move on to the other thing that is gonna destroy fangirls' hearts all around the world. I originally didn't like Harry Potter because my 14-year-old self thought it was too cool to like things like Harry Potter and Pokemon and Digimon. As ninth grade came around, I had to start reading books outside of the books that were assigned to me in class. And that's where Harry Potter comes in. There was a period where I had to read books that totaled up to a thousand pages in total. To make that easier on myself, I thought I'd read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because it was such a thick book, and I could read that, and then I could read a smaller book, and that meant I'd be able to meet the requirements that the teacher put in front of me. This is also around the time when Philosopher's Stone came out in theaters, so what I think I actually did was watch Philosopher's Stone in theaters, read Goblet of Fire, and then go back and read the first three books. Yep, I'm counterculture. Again, it doesn't matter in what order I read the Harry Potter books or in what order I watched the Star Wars movies. I guess it doesn't even matter that I've been involved with them, period. You like what you like, and there's no way you can change that. And hey, it doesn't make me any less of a Star Wars fan because I watch Star Wars in the opposite order from everybody else. And it also doesn't make me any less of a Harry Potter fan for reading them in whatever order that I read them. It's just gonna be all the stupid hardcore fans that think they're too good for everybody else that are gonna get upset over this. And to the people who are gonna be mad over such trivial things as this, I only have a couple things to say. Deal with it. As always, links will be down below, and I think what I'm gonna do to try and get Alex to come out of his shell and actually make a video is force him to make a video with me. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need some questions from you wonderful people out in the world of the internet. So please, if you will, leave some questions for me and my friend Alex to answer in our next video. And he still hasn't made that YouTube survey that I tagged him in all those months ago. But instead of forcing him to do that, I'm gonna force him to make a video with me. I'm such a great friend.